Today's video is all about preppy patterns and preppy prints. You can't really talk about a preppy outfits and preppy fashion without talking about those quintessential preppy prints that really make an outfit distinctly preppy. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a run through of all those preppy prints. But before we do, hello if you're new on my channel. My name is Fab and I make two fashion and lifestyle videos every single week. So if you're into videos like this one, please do subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, we're going to start off with my personal favorite and that is a gingham print. Gingham print is basically a check print. It's normally white and a different color in a crisscross pattern, but it screams preppy summertime to me, especially when the gingham print is in a pastel color, like a light blue, a pink, or a lemon color. There's something about gingham print that is quite innocent, pure, a little bit whimsical, but it's not juvenile at the same time. I did mention that gingham print looks lovely and spring light with those pastel colors, but of course you can get gingham print in more traditional preppy colors, navy blues, red. One of my favorite preppy brands is Draper James and one of their branding elements is actually a gingham print in this beautiful light blue color. I have the sweatshirt from Draper James in their signature blue gingham print and I love it so, so much. I love this garment in particular because it is a sweatshirt. So of course you got the comfy vibes, but having the gingham print on it actually sort of dresses it up so you can be comfortable and warm but still look cute. Draper James also do this really cute thing with their branding. Their other big branding element is a magnolia so they'll put the magnolia on the blue gingham print and it's just I love it. The next preppy print or pattern is, I don't know if I should be calling it a print or a pattern. I suppose it's a pattern. The next preppy pattern is Argyle. And you see Argyle print, particularly on sweaters for both men and women. The Argyle print is very distinctive with its diamond shape. The Argyle print is also synonymous with golfing attire, especially golf sweaters, golf pants. A lot of the time it is in that Argyle print. So it always makes me think of golfing. Now the funny thing is our girl sweaters aren't exactly in at the moment at least in the preppy fashion world you'd definitely be able to find one I'm sure if you looked but they're not really a big thing that retailers are selling they actually look very y2k to me which is a big trend in mainstream fashion mainstream fashion is definitely looking back at the noughties sort of the Paris Hilton y2k fashion and Argyle was massive then so I'm starting to see Argyle slowly creep back in especially with that sort of young teenager Brandy Melville type of girl I have seen an Argyle sweater in Brandy Melville recently I don't know maybe it will come back into more of the preppy fashion scene but at the moment Argyle print is definitely in the young streetwear throwing it back to the Y2K trend the next preppy pattern is houndstooth and this is a very distinctive checkered pattern but the checks are sort of skewed traditionally houndstooth is black and white but there are many different colorways that you can get houndstooth in. Personally though, I do love the traditional black and white houndstooth. Generally houndstooth, you can distinctly see the checkered pattern with the skews. So it is quite obvious that it is houndstooth. But I learned today when I was researching that if houndstooth is scaled down and it sort of looks like it's all jumbling together, it's actually called puppy tooth. How cute is that? Really random, but kind of related. My puppy the other day, her baby tooth fell out. At first I saw it and I was like, ew, what is that? And then I realized it was her baby tooth. It was like a little pointy fang. Anyway, <laughs> I did include houndstooth in my preppy style staples video because I do feel like when you wear houndstooth, it really makes an outfit preppy and also sassy preppy, you know? It's very Blair Waldorf, New York, or a London sort of preppy too. Houndstooth is girly, it's upper class, it's also classic. And one of my favorite skirts is in a houndstooth print. It is from Sister Jane. And then I also dug out of the back of my wardrobe this Michael Kors bag that I've had for a few years and I've really started to try and incorporate it back into my wardrobe. The next preppy pattern is plus and I actually have a whole video on my channel dedicated to how I like to style plaid. Plaid is really a preppy essential for fall and winter outfits. I actually discovered this when I was researching that how to style plaid video is I wasn't sure what the difference was between plaid and tartan, but 
A plaid refers to the actual crisscrossing, the pattern that arises out of all of that. And then if a particular plaid has a name, then you can call it a tartan. I personally own a lot of green or black watch tartan plaid in my wardrobe. But of course, plaid can come in so many different colors, especially when it gets to Christmas time and you have a beautiful red Christmassy plaid. Oh, it just gets you so excited for Christmas time. The next preppy pattern is seersucker. And this is actually less of a pattern, but rather a fabric. So the seersucker fabric has very very thin lines, very thin stripes, but the actual fabric itself is not flat. It sort of has raised bits on the line. I have this seersucker dress here and I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it isn't a flat fabric. It has texture to it. Seersucker is a quintessential preppy spring and summer fabric. There's a lot of male clothing made out of it, particular suiting, um, also little shorts for summertime. One of my all time favorite dresses that I own is a seersucker dress. It is that beautiful mint seersucker. This is from Lauren James a few years ago. The next preppy pattern is stripes and in particular nautical stripes. What makes a stripe nautical? I think it is using those particular nautical colors, navy blue, red, cream, yellow, and I am sporting some Vineyard Vines nautical stripes here. I do find that a lot of the brands that are based in the New England or Northern Eastern US area do a lot of clothing with these nautical stripes on them. Now to build on that, you can also get preppy patterns that have nautical elements on them like lobsters or anchors or boating rope. The brand Carl James Patrick does a lot of these types of patterns and their actual logo is a little anchor. So they're definitely in that nautical preppy vibe. The next pattern is a bit more broad. Let's open our minds a bit, but it is a lily print. So it's not a specific thing. Of course, there are so many lily prints, lily patterns. They come out with so many beautiful ones every year, but a beautiful, bright lily print really is a preppy style staple. It definitely is that Southern style of preppy that is bright, a bit more fun, has a bit of humor, I suppose, in it. The next preppy pattern is a trellis pattern. And this is those sort of geometrical printy patterny things that you see. I never knew what these were called for the longest time. I would just type into Google preppy geometric print and see what came up, but it's called a trellis print. And I don't see this as much in preppy fashion, but in preppy homewares, this is very, very popular. Bedding, pin boards, cushions, notebooks and stationery. This trellis print is really, really prevalent. And it is actually the end screen of my YouTube videos. I do use a clover trellis print. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can see it. It's beautiful, it's preppy, it's clovery and it's trellisy. You'll enjoy it. The next print is a fair owl print. And obviously this comes out a lot in the colder months, specifically around Christmas time. A fair owl print is actually a traditional knitting pattern. So instead of having a bigger block of one color, you're able to intricately make little designs with different colors and make fun things with the knitting patterns. Basically you're able to knit and you can put little colors in there and you can make things like snowflakes or reindeers. And of course, Fair Isle sweaters are very, very popular, specifically around Christmas time, but just generally the colder months, they are great to pop on. And of course, if you put a button down shirt underneath and have your collar popping up the top of your Fair Isle sweater, is that not preppy? If that's not preppy, I don't know what's preppy. This is my Fair Isle sweater. This is from the brand Fuel Raven. You know the backpack brand? Well, they're famous for or their backpacks, but they are an outdoorsy company and they make lots of outdoor wear and they make really beautiful Fair Isle sweaters. There you go. Those are the prints and patterns that I consider to be quintessentially preppy. If there is a print that you think is preppy, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. I read every single comment and I love chatting with you guys on my videos. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh no, I gave 
my heart away. 